When you look at, uh, at the context and especially the revolt of the farmers, I mean the real farmers, you see what I mean, um, you see the amount of uh, disinformation or I would say outright lies that are being spread around by the national populists, by the EPP, by the liberals. Uh, uh, so, so you have the impression the bigger the, biggest the lie, uh, the best it is uh, to make it uh, uh, be swallowed by everyone. So it would be the European Green Deal. They must be kidding, right? Who can say that the European Green Deal is reached or our farms, our countryside? Who can say that? The common agricultural policy is anything but green, right? Pesticides, you see, the Commission withdraws the proposal because, no, we can't get any binding reduction targets. Nature restoration law, well, as far as it pertains to farming, is being kept immune. Industrial emissions, same thing. And this is all the fault of the Green Deal? They must be kidding, right? I find this insulting, not for me because, well, we can take this, but for the farmers, they are taking them for idiots. Idiots, right? They pretend to listen to the farmers. Actually, they, they dictate the farmers what they should say. Point the fingers at the Greens, why? Because when you listen to the farmers, what do they tell you? That they are crushed by an economic system that gives them zero profitability, zero degree of freedom. That is what it is. And what are the elements of this uh, economic system? Power to the big uh, uh, phytosanitary firms, basically agrochemistry. All power to those who sell them seeds. All power to the banks. All power at the other end of the spectrum to the retail sector, to the agrobusiness firms. And they are crushed. They are totally crushed between two. Who supports this? Combined with the unfair competition of free trade deals? Who is it that uh, is voting those things? who has been criticizing us in the plenary, Manfred Weber, saying, you Greens are irresponsible, you don't want uh, these free trade agreements, for decades. And then you have the same Manfred Weber patting the farmers on the, on, on the back, saying, we're with you, you know? So we are screwing you big time, but we're with you. And it's all the fault of these Greens. Sorry, I've had it. They've been screwing the, 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 the countryside, and then they pose as their saviors. And that's just an outright lie. Now, is it true that bringing the Green Deal to the agriculture world would mean more constraints, more urge to change? Yes, absolutely. And this is why you cannot do that, I would say, in a bureaucratic way. You cannot do that without listening to the subject matter experts and the first ones are the farmers themselves. You cannot do that if you do not change the economic system they live in. That is the biggest problem. In a well-functioning market economy, they should be able to sell their wares, what they produce, with a profit. And then get rewarded with subsidies for services that they provide to society, but that they cannot be paid for. I mean, when you restore biodiversity, you can't sell biodiversity on the market. But that is work. I mean, that, and every work, uh, 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 must be compensated by an income. And this is where the common agricultural policies do, uh, should step in. That is, paying for the services the farmers give society. This is where you should have subsidy. But I want them to earn a decent living from their work. It's also a matter of decency. But it is absolutely not, absolutely not, what ID, what ECR, what EPP, what Renew wants. So, uh, indeed, those who are the farmer's best friends are not those who claim to be. That's what I want to say.